Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA had us confused yesterday with this loading screen that Team of the Season was coming for the Premier League, Women's Super League, and is that an Angel Di Maria card? That looks insane. But the countdown was set to be for today. Well, they fixed it. We'll talk about that, but really what there is to look forward to today is the brand new season. Finally, guys, we're going to have more XP to chase after more packs and maybe even some of the first team of the season, regular team of the season moments and tots plus players as a part of the season reward today. We're going to take a look at that and what else there is to see today for a live tots last day before these cards go out of the packs and Premier League team of the season comes on to this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's talk about yesterday's content because there was one big SPC that we finally got that we were expecting just finally was able to be dropped. But first, some big market movements with the 81 plus tradable team of the week upgrade coming back. And I think EA must have messed up something here, guys, because it says this SPC expires in 43 days, but it is not repeatable in any way way earn a tradable team league player pick i think they meant this to be repeatable at least once per week because that's how the first 81 plus team of the week was dropped last week the very first time we had the tradable team of the week upgrade it's still an 85 rated squad it's the exact same SBC as before but it did in fact make team of the week prices crash if you uh maybe noticed in my video the last couple of days i had sold all my team of the week cards for thirty-seven thousand coins that was kind of their peak during the last week and yesterday these cards absolutely tanked how low are we right now for team of the weeks 27k 27 28 000 coins for all team of the week players which is actually making people think should we invest in these again and in my opinion I think it's probably safer to wait until the weekend because like yesterday we saw in one SBC, EA is going to start requiring team of the season players and maybe team of the week players at the same time. And it's going to be a lot easier to get Todd's cards after we see a whole big set of teams dropped this weekend. They're going to be everywhere and they're going to be used for fodder. So I think I would hold off on investing in team of the weeks just yet. Maybe we talk about that more tomorrow, kind of see what we see. And then maybe into Saturday, we'll look at that more seriously, depending on how cheap some of the team of the seasons are and if they change up some of those requirements. But that was a big market mover yesterday. I kind of forgot that was going to be refreshing for sure. But it's always, if you need a team of the week, the best thing to do is just go buy the golds through the 83 plus team of the week. It'll take you an extra couple minutes, but you're saving yourself 10,000 coins. This is a 19K SBC. Those team of the weeks were 37,000 coins. You were saving yourself almost 20K last week when they were super expensive. So always, always go ahead and do that. Now, let's talk about the player SBC yesterday and the player objective really, really quickly. Two of the live TOTS cards we were still waiting to see were dropped. Adriana from the NWSL. Finesse shot, quick step, four star, four star. There's not a whole lot to talk about with this SBC player. She is live, of course, could end up being a decent card, uh, but only 4 4 with two playstyle pluses. Doesn't look that amazing. At least she is cheap, coming in at 59k. So that is nice. And the other player that we had was in objectives. It was Gabby Viega from um, the Saudi League. Guys, this card actually looks pretty decent. And he does fit into the Evo. He's a live card. I think their first game is today. And he fits into the Evo, of course, because he has less than 93 pace. And he only has seven regular play styles. So he fits it. If you're a, a Saudi fan or if you just want to boost up a good uh, Spanish midfielder card, he fits in the Evo. He's medium, medium, but he is pretty easy to do. Just playing some Rivals games tonight. I've already unlocked two sections of him. So those were two of the three left of the live Tots cards that we have yet to see. I think we'll get the last one via an SBC today let's talk about the biggest sbc that happened yesterday i did it quickly straight after it was dropped yes guys it is the live tots upgrade pack for this live team of the season squad this was the sbc that we were looking to see we were expecting it and it did end up dropping now the requirements for this was very interesting you had to turn in a live tots to basically gamble and hopefully pack a better and good live tots from this pack. I mean, kind of consistent with the requirements we had seen in previous years. It's 45,000 coins, which isn't that expensive to do. But again, when you look at the team and you see all the fodder cards inside of this team, it's just like half the time you're putting in sheaf to get sheaf back. And that is exactly what I did yesterday. I turned in 89 sheaf 
and I got Sheaf back from the pack. Now, this SBC is always worth doing, though, every single week with whatever team of the season league is out. And we might start to get multiples of these for the multiple leagues, men's and women's, that are going to be coming out. We'll have to see. Uh, but on Wednesdays, expect these SBCs to drop, and they're going to be worth doing just about every time if you can craft it or if you can do it straight away just because it gives you an outside chance. I know there weren't many people yesterday, but there were some people packing Modric, packing Romero, packing St. Maximin, um, you know, those big, even the middle tier cards. Like if you packed a Soboslai, a Zaha, or an Anthony Robinson out of this, or even a Hinkapi, you're pretty happy from that sort of pack pull from this pack. It's worth doing every single week just for the chance. And since there aren't many SBCs like this during promos throughout the rest of the year that give you a guaranteed chance at a player from the current Permal team that is in packs. Now, I don't think Fodder moved really that much. I have to double check prices. Um, it looks like Fodder is actually down right now, heading into Rivals Rewards. And I would imagine, guys, that Fodder is going to drop even lower. So if you still have some stuff in the club that you want to get rid of, last week with Rivals, um, even with just Team of the Week cards in packs during TOTS warm-up, Fodder dropped a lot because people were opening their Rivals Rewards. People are definitely going to be opening this week, and they're going to take Tradable because there are TOTS cards that are in packs, and some of those packs are pretty good. So I would imagine you would see fodder dropping today, especially in the 85 plus departments. So be careful with fodder in those ranges. And uh, we're going to be really watching the live tots cards in terms of those prices today as well, guys. I want to look at this from yesterday because we were expecting some of these live tots prices to go up. And, and some of them did, but it was very few cards, right? I was very happy to see my Rafinhas that I invested in. Got one, a lucky snipe of 700 and another one at 728. Sold both of those for 790. I still have an Alan St. Maximin card who I bought for 788. Been trying to sell it for like 830 to 840. Didn't get out at the right time. And now he's back down to just under 800K. But most of these cards didn't actually rise yesterday. It was literally Kudus, Rafinha, St. Maximin, and maybe one or two others that had some fluctuations up. Most of them are the same or even lower. Take a look at Doku, 2.8 mil. Modric was 3.2 yesterday, and now he is 2.9. He is tanking. And there's even more su supply potentially coming today for those lower tier cards during Rivals Rewards. So, man, guys, it just it's crazy. These are live team of the season cards, live and upgrading cards. Most of them may be close to their first upgrade, and some of them have already achieved that first upgrade already with two wins. It is crazy to see these cards not moving that much and not having that much hype. I really just think it has to do with everybody waiting for Prem Team of the Season and the real Team of the Season cards coming out tomorrow on this game. But I'm hoping today maybe these cards can show some signs of life. Those ones that have maybe a lot of goals scored already or one win and a game coming soon for those potential upgrades. But of course, a good reminder from yesterday as Liverpool lost to Everton, you always have to be careful because the bad side of things that, that can happen here is that a team loses, underperforms, doesn't score goals. Solus Live was one of the best investments yesterday. You could have made an investment early in the day at 109,000 coins. He went all the way to 125. Watching him on the market, he was a 125. Liverpool lost, and now he is down. Looks like he's going below 100K. Big drop off there for him. That could happen to anybody. There's more games today. I believe Manchester City play today. I know they're playing Brighton. You never know. If Man City draw and there's like a 1-1 one -one draw, that's not good for Doku's live card. And his price could drop. So um, it's, you know, a bit surprising to not see these cards go up that much. But I really think just the hype on this game has not reached the real TOTS levels yet because people are just ready for the real team of the season cards. And uh, yeah, guys, those are dropping some of them, I think, today. And that's actually what I want to mention right now as we start talking about today on Thursday, what this game is going to look like and even a little bit of what happened yesterday to, to tease what is coming today. Yesterday, the loading screen, this is the exact same loading screen that is out right now. It said at very first drop time, it said that it was starting today, like the countdown timer counted down to today's content, which we were all like, uh, that has to be a mistake, right? And it was. They updated the countdown time. Prem Tots is not in packs until Friday. But we did get an early look, and now it's there on the loading screen. Three cards coming this Friday for Prem Women's Super League and the first mixed league of team of the season. Over here on the left, this has to be Di Maria. It's the first Tots Plus card design we have seen. 98 passing and 98 dribbling. That is going to be an absolutely insane Di Maria card. Five-star, five-star, hopefully 
that's going to be a nuts card. This, of course, is Erling Holland, and we're guessing this is Lauren James. But something very interesting about this Erling Holland card, note his pace and his shooting statistic, right? 97 pace and 99 shooting. If we go take a look at Erling Holland team of the year card on this game, he has 96 pace and 98 shooting. His team of the season is going to be better statistically than the team of the year. And that made this card and it will probably make others like team of the year VVD drop a lot in price because these team of the year cards are now going to be a lot more, I guess you could say less meta because if this new Holland comes out with three play style pluses and better stats, that is way better than the team of the year cards that were released months ago yes but still are some of the most elite cards in this game so we even got the car designs here now in the game team of the season team of the season plus and team of the season moments as you can see them right here i think it's really setting up for some of those first cards to come into the game today but not necessarily through packs but i had to mention that loading screen as a lot of people are talking about it and yes um, it was making some waves yesterday and causing some confusion we're gonna have more leaks guys we didn't get that many leaks yesterday i have to imagine we're gonna start to get more news and info about the actual premier league tots players in the team uh today as well maybe through the loading screen maybe just through leaks now let's talk about today now as you guys are watching this video there might be a new says season that is already released and put out but i do want to cover this really quickly because we have some leaks ahead of time about what this season might look like. This was a tweet that Foot Sheriff tweeted out just a couple of days ago, and it shows some sort of collaboration between Nike and EAFC. It looks like in these quick moving graphic scenarios here, it looks like very pro clubs esque with like some crazy attribute, like hairstyle differences, different balls and kits and even boots inside of the game. Oh, my ad block is up to date. Thank you. Um, and also here at the end, you can see it says season six, April 25th. That is today. So there must be some sort of like thing and integration with Nike and with EA Sports. And this season six might be called season six. It also might be called what the FC. So I don't know if this has to do with ultimate team and pro clubs coming together because i don't know man some of the stuff in here just looks very pro clubs esque like the hair like this like what in the world is that hair with the nike swoosh in the head like that's crazy and then some of the boots and some of the balls you can see here i don't know what's going on guys with this but there's something to go together with uh with nike and with uh eafc in this next up season six that is going to be coming so that is one thing I did want to mention. And the rewards, there really haven't been too many rewards leaked of what there is to be coming in this new season. But with those car designs that we just looked at and saw in the game, I really do think it is almost a guarantee that we are going to have some sort of team of the season, team of the season plus or tots moments player added today to the game via the season rewards. So we're going to be watching out for that. And we have, of course some leaked pack code that we need to go over as well these could be some of the packs that are in the new season too 87 5 88 5 87 3 88 3 85 times 20 man that might be in the code guys and 85 times 20 would be really really crazy i think we're at that point of the year where if that pack is in the season we would all be shooting for it and wanting to open that. I think it's actually very, very possible. So what? that's one thing to watch out for today. Again, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because it's going to be in the game here very, very shortly. Um, other things I want to point out today are different rewards. Now, the rewards for Division Rivals are going to be changing. And every single season reset, we get set back a Division or two. Now, this last season has been a longer season, right? We had 40 levels. The season before that, I think, was 20 or 25. I would imagine we're going to get set back two divisions, unfortunately, guys. Um, I would really love it if it was just one division, but I think we're going to get set back two. I'm just very disappointed because I was hoping to stay in division two or division three or close to up there, right? Because these rewards are going to be changing, right? Right now, uh, in the weekly rewards section, hold on, I need to go to reward upgrade, right? Reward upgrade division two. These are the rewards that I'm playing for right now for this season that is ending in a couple of hours. We are not getting the new rewards today. We are not going to get the new rewards until next week. That will include live team of the season players um, and team of the season players from the current league of tots. It might be a little bit delayed for the rivals rewards and the squad battle rewards um, because those will be updated with 
the players that come out on that Friday before kind of thing, and it's just the most reason for the foot champs rewards. But watch out for that today. I think EA does set us back two divisions, so I think I will be going from Div 2 to Div 4. I will really want to climb up to Div 2 if possible to get that player pick. Div 2 is a 1 of 3 player pick. Div 1 is a 1 of 4. Division 3 is a guaranteed TOTS pack, and Division 4 is a max 90 tots pack and elite divisions a, a one of five player pick so those are the new rewards that we are going to be playing for um in this game today as a part of the next season of rivals one thing is if you have your weekly or your daily objectives not claimed which i do not hopefully this sets us up with a little bit of extra xp heading into this first day of the season by not claiming those sometimes that works because they're the group rewards and the group xp so that is one thing to kind of watch out for today as well well, now, of course, if there's any crazy cards that are getting team of the seasons that are in this objective section today, uh, be careful. There are other cards in the market, like if they have a full birthday, if they have any other sort of promo version, they are definitely going to be dropping. That is something to be watching out for. There will be market movements based off of that today. Now, a couple more leaks kind of looking forward into tomorrow and Friday. Then I want to start to mention as well, a couple more packs added to the code. We'll start here in 86 times 11 players pack. I don't know if that's a store pack or if that's going to be in the season. That's a crazy pack right there. 11 walkouts. You think about a double walkout. Imagine if we could see 11 players walk out of the same pack. That would take forever for a pack animation. Anyways, there's also some more packs here added to the code that are going to be, we think, specific to Premier League Tots and what is coming this weekend. You can see there's a Premier League Tots guaranteed pack. Definitely a store pack. Guarantees one Prem Tots. Also 80 golds rated 83 or higher. A Premier League Tots duo guaranteed. One guaranteed to be 92 or higher. And that kind of shows you right there that these team of the season cards, real team of the season squads, not the live Tots players, the real team of the season players are going to be higher rated because, again, rated 92 or above. If you look at this TOTS team, that is only like, I don't know, six or seven players from the entire TOTS squad here that are 92 or above. And uh, there's going to be probably almost everybody except one or two or like four, I would say, out of the Premier League TOTS squad that is going to be 92 or above. So that's a big pack there, a deluxe Premier League TOTS pack. Premier League Tots Nano Pack, and then of course you have uh, that pack from yesterday, the Live Tots Guarantee, and then EA preparing for weeks ahead with Foot Champs rewards adding to the code as well. So just some big store packs added there. And then of course we did have two new leaks. We had Lauren James leaked yesterday, and Rodri is also coming as a team of the season player, just like VVD, just like Erling Holland. He has a team of the year card, which you would be very, very careful with. And I haven't even looked at this card of the market. I know that he was around 1.2 million coins, but I have to imagine that, wow, he's still 1.2 million. I have to imagine that this card is going to drop because he is leaked to be in team of the season. And with how these are looking, team of the seasons are going to be higher rated than team of the years, at least Holland. Maybe Rodri will still be 95 rated, but uh, he'll have three play style pluses. So I'd imagine that this card is going to drop. Kind of the same thing you saw yesterday with Cole Palmer, right? People realize Cole Palmer was in the team of the season. He was leaked. And this card yesterday was 900,000 coins. And I believe now he is under 700K. It's just like people are not buying a lot of cards right now in this market because they're all waiting for Premier League Tots to actually be here and to start. And it's getting pretty crazy in that regard. But there's really not a ton of leaks other than that. I think there's going to be more news and information today about who's going to be in Premier League team this season. And it's all going to be jumbled up on the market, of course, as we look to the new season of players that are going to be released today. Now, today's the last day. Like, Let's talk about last day before Prem Tots. What are we kind of expecting? I can't expect it's going to be a big day. Remember last Thursday? It was one of the quietest promo days that we had had in ages. It was really, really dead. Like there was not a whole lot going on. I think today is going to be a pretty quiet day as well. The real, the real hype is going to be on the anticipation of what comes out tomorrow on Friday. There is one last live TOTS player SBC we are still looking forward to today, and that is Udol, the Mets left back. It is very possible that he could be coming today as an SBC, uh, our last live TOTS player there. So I'd watch out for that since we had both the Gabby Vega and um, the other NWSL Adriana dropped yesterday. 
and uh, marquee matchups. I think it might just be that simple of a day for today. Also a day to keep crafting the SBCs, the 80 plus player picks. If you're going to save any, I think the 82 times 11 might refresh today one last time before um, it expires on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be able to recraft the 82 times 11. The tots warm up is going away. That's done and over with. And the 86 double will, of course, come back again. We'll be able to do that one more time uh, or two more times, I think, before it goes away um, to save those and open those for Premier League team of the season so that's kind of the update it's, i'm not expecting a lot today guys and i'm i'm definitely going to be watching the market um not really the i don't know i don't know how much i want to risk it on these tots live cards because some of them i do believe in but others i i just don't man i don't know i really want to see how much the market is impacted today by the rivals rewards if rivals rewards makes some of these cards go down that could be good investments i could uh think about picking up some of these but i want to see some decent drops like you know klaus was like 110 he's now one still 112 115 like if loftus cheek would go to like 200k you know i'd kind of be interested in something like that it would have to be that type of a drop it has to be a pretty significant five to ten percent drop today for me to be interested in investing in one or, or two of these players and i would really only like investing in some of the ones that are very hype um, or the ones that have potential to upgrade very soon because of how their club has been performing. So that's something to keep in mind. Zaha's 229. I just don't know if I want to buy before rewards. I think I'm going to wait until afterwards, guys. Definitely keep an eye on that today. But really, it just seems like not a lot of people are buying things on the market right now. I think that changes Friday. I think that changes tomorrow. But maybe we just need to wait until we get there before we actually start spending our coins and, and maybe buying some players just because, um, yeah, right now it just looks like people don't want to buy much. Um, and they're waiting for the Premier League Tots cards and also like the SBC content and all of that to be coming out with Prem Tots on Friday. So that's the video for today. Hopefully the new season is sick. And we'll be looking forward to getting this TOTS number up to double digits. I'm not opening my Rivals Rewards today. I mean, only some of the packs that I can get opened. to then, of course, go craft some player picks and maybe work on the Havertz SBC. Uh, but at the moment, uh, I am working on ha crafting Havertz. And I'm still saving my higher rated packs, except for the 86 doubles. I have been opening some of those um, just to get high rated fodder. But I am saving most of my high rated packs for Prem TOTS, as I know a lot of you guys are as well. Let's get those real team of the season in this game. I am ready. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. So if you're excited for Prem Tots, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you want to come by, check it out and chat it up. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace out.